What's up ladies and gentlemen, Spade here, and welcome to August monthly discussion, slash pretty big update. I know all the time of recording this is 9.48pm, and the day of recording this is August 29th. I was gonna do this last night, but I just wasn't feeling it. And on top of that, I only got an hour and a half of sleep. Probably less than an hour, to be honest. <laughs> so if you had slept for a few hours during the day, today at least, at this point, I'm just trying to kill some time. Hopefully make myself a bit more tired. <laughs> Before trying to go to bed. Anyway, it's not fighting. Let's get into the update portion first. So for starters, Let's Plays are moving to the main channel. Starting this upcoming Friday. Not all Let's Plays will be moving to the main channel because I plan on wrapping up some of the ones that are closer to being finished over on the Let's Play channel. But over on the main channel, we're going to be bringing over a few. And here's how that's going to work. Back of the Vagos War Zero will hopefully at some point be finished. Whenever that happens, the rest of that will go up on the Let's Play channel. Same goes for Tales of Bazaria, which I'm hoping to finish that off next month. And by hope, I mean I will. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption 2 will be moving to the main channel again starting this upcoming Friday, aka I believe that is September 4th. Alright, that is. Good, I remember right. <laughs> So the first 80 episodes are up on the Let's Play channel, but episodes 81 and beyond will be over here on the main channel. As for Persona 4, I'm tempted to keep that going over on the Let's Play channel, but... Knowing me, I'm probably going to move the rest of it to the main channel, just because. So, currently episodes 1 through 91 up on the Let's Play channel for episode 4. So that means episodes 92 and beyond will go up over here on the main channel whenever I get back to playing that game. Lastly, we have Tokyo Xanadu EX Plus. That will be moving over to the main channel. And give or take a few more weeks, I might stop playing that game again, finally. <laughs> By the time October rolls around, it'd be a whole year or so. It would be nice to do at least one recording assessment before then. Since I last played at least. As for my upcoming Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hackers Memory Playthrough. 
which if you haven't noticed already, a few days ago. I kind of fooled around with the main channel a bit and organized it a lot better. At least I like to believe so. <laughs> and that playlist is there now. The first eight episodes are already recorded, edited, and uploaded. I know all... Here's the thing. I'm going to post the first episode for Dead to One Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory this Friday. However, episode 2 will not go up until October. Why am I doing that? Quite simple, really. The first three episodes have three, basically they have Japanese copyright claims from Namco Bandai, either from the music or from the anime cutscenes. And I'm scared to post those episodes. <laughs> so I'm testing the copyright claim if the video does not go down within a month, then I will post episode 2 and so on. So really I'm just testing the waters, seeing what that copyright claim will do, see what Namco Bandai will do. I tried looking up to see if they will for fair use or not. See what the situation is with that. Could not find an answer. So I have to do this. If you know whether or not it's safe for me to just post episodes or not, just let me know. And if it's not safe, I'll have to find another way to get the Let's Play out to y'all at some point. So hopefully this works out. Oh yeah, and that will be going up on the main channel. Again, depending on how things play out with the first episode's copyright claim, I might have to move that playthrough to the Let's Play channel. Who knows? But for now, I'm sticking with it being on the main channel. So yeah, Let's Play is all moving to the main channel. I know that everyone's gonna like that. Some people are either gonna like it, hate it, or be iffy about it. Personally, I still like the idea of just having the Let's Play channel being its own thing. But over the past two months now, I believe. I've slowly been trying to figure out how to monetize videos here on the main channel. So that's one reason why I'm moving Let's Plays to the main channel. To try and make some extra cash. You can call me a sellout for doing so if you want. But that's what I've decided I'm trying to do. I can monetize videos at this point for a little over a month now, but I know not everything is set up correctly, so I'm not going to bother with that. And besides, a little extra bonus when it comes to putting Let's Plays on the main channel would be getting those videos out to more people. You know, so maybe I'm entertaining the words, maybe I'm not. I still think I'm not, but whatever. So yeah, monetization is in the works. Whether or not it'll actually be fully set up at some point, I have no fucking idea. So yeah. 
Now when it comes to AMVs, obviously there have been a lack of AMVs this year. And I've got a few reasons on why. Well, first off, I'm definitely moving on from AMVs to Let's Plays. I figured that was kind of how things are going this year. Anyway, if you haven't noticed. So yeah, I will still be making AMVs. I will finish, eventually, the AMV projects that are still in the works that I've been talking about over the past few months. I will eventually finish the Kyoto Tribute votes. I will finish making an AMV for those killers eventually. <laughs> As of why I haven't really been working on AMVs all two months would be it hurts. This year especially I found that just listening to music or anything really, even the sound of silence, everything hurts my ears a lot. It's painful. A very aching type of pain. And if you heard that cracking noise, that was my glasses. I was adjusting them. Either or. It just hurts to listen to music, especially. Because I tend to have headphones in whenever I'm listening to music. And to make AMVs, you kind of do need to listen to music. My ears have been ringing endlessly for I'm not even sure how long now. Easily over a year and a half if not two years or longer, or a little longer than that. My ears have been ringing for too damn long, and this year it's just been a real pain. It truly has. But also I'm not so what's more annoying, the physical pain deep within my ears or the fucking endless ringing. I, you know those type of long neon lights or whatever the fuck they are? The type of lights that you would see in a hospital or a clinic or whatever that are buzzing? It's pretty much that noise endlessly. <laughs> and it's driving me insane. My ears is all too much to really listen to mutts constantly at least. So I've been pretty much just taking a break from working on AMVs, hoping this will stop, but it definitely hasn't. I did get my ears tested and checked this month. First and only time I'm ever wearing a bandana. Just saying. You're forced to wear something on your face at this point here. I'm so you know why. First and only time that's gonna happen. I know I only did that because I desperately needed to get my ears checked. Yeah, apparently I haven't had my ears checked in like 
nine years. No joke. It's been nine years since I last had my hearing tested. It's the exact same as it was then. But I find that to be bullshit simply due to... I feel like my healing has gotten worse. I can easily tell that much from how loud I'm popping up the volume on the TV. I can't even hear certain volumes anymore. I will go, I will go more into depth with me and hearing problems and said and stuff, but I'm just not going to. So let's just move on. So, beyond from getting my ears checked in literally over nine years, but close to a decade surprisingly, my guess was actually eight years since last time. So it's pretty close to that guess. I end up going to town twice this month, so I wasn't here all two months this month. I was only in town for a little over a week throughout the course of two weeks throughout the whole month. And they're picking up a few things. So we now have Marvel's Spider-Man for the PS4. We also have Final Fantasy VII Remake. Still not a fan of Final Fantasy, period. But I figured I'd give this one a try. Haven't tried it yet. I did try Marvel Spider-Man. I can't even get past the first boss fight with Fisk. <laughs> That's how bad I am at the game. Uneasy. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm bad at that. I'm gonna have to practice at some point. Also ended up getting that we make for SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. I end up getting the remake for that, for the hell of it. Seems decent enough. I've only played Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom only on the GBA. And I don't even remember what that looks like, so... <laughs> Definitely different, obviously, but whatever. End up getting that. Also ended up getting... Ghost of Susima, am I saying that last one right? I'm sorry, I'm butchering that last one. I actually managed to beat that game within a teensy bit over a week's time. Surprisingly. The actual main story is pretty damn sort. I have five or six missions for each act of the game, and there are only three acts. So yeah, not too long of a main story. Granted, I did do, I will say, just about half of the things you can do in the game that are side stuff. So the fact that I did that much and beat the game within like a week, it kind of makes me wish I did record my first experience. Because I thought I'd spend a few months playing that. <laughs> no, probably take another two weeks to do everything else if I want to. So without spoiling much of anything, or too much of anything for that game. 
since it seems to be pretty new. Plus, if I picked that game out on a whim, I knew nothing about it. Other than I saw a few people them sub to start to let's play the game. And despite my curiosity, so I got it. So. Act 1 was pretty interesting for the most part. Act 2? This, this is where I thought things would get really good. I'm not even joking. My prediction for how or who the final boss would be was totally off. I will tell you my theory, my prediction that was totally off. In order to do so, I have to at least say the name of two killers. Ryozu and the Khan. During Act 2, I was honestly expecting to kill the Khan. And that didn't happen. Instead, we ended up going up against... I think his name is Ryozu. Probably puts that name or misremembering it. But I'm not even joking. This man looks... Like, he would be Nobunaga. <laughs> Even if he didn't have the goatee or anything, he has a full beard, but... I honestly thought he would have turned into the new leader of the Mongols, the enemies of the game. I thought he would have became the new leader after we killed the Khan in Act 2 and the final battle would be you versus Yozu who's now the new leader who's become known as Nobunaga <laughs> I really thought this man was going to become Nobunaga was going to become known as Nobunaga is some type of legendary name of a warrior for the Mongols or something. Oh man, that, that would have been so much more interesting. <laughs> Ironically, Act 3 is where the Khan goes down. He's not the final boss, I will say that much, the final battle at least, but I'm not going to say more than that. How did I like the game? Did I enjoy it? I like it enough to where I'm considering the idea of let's playing it. <laughs> Well into the future, of course. Like, way, way into the future. Like, probably within the... Let's Play number 20's reigns. Which is definitely a long ways away. At the rate we're going. Definitely had fun with that game for sure. Not really my cup of tea. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> my favorite parts about the game, gameplay-wise, would be the stealth and combat. <laughs> Ironically. The stealth, there's something about the stealth in this game that I just really like. I don't know what it is. <laughs> but I really like the stealth in the game. Some of it was definitely tricky, if anything. 
That's just cool. Good game though, I definitely recommend it. If you haven't checked it out or played it for yourself yet. Overall... I also ended up getting... Literally... Literally yesterday... Nexomon Extinction. Nexomon 2 Extinct. Extincts in. There we go. <laughs> I can't fucking talk. End up getting Nexomon 2 Extinction on PS4 digitally. I literally only found out about this game slash series earlier this month. Tried out the first a little, played the second one a few hours earlier today, and I'm definitely liking it so far. Definitely worth checking out if you like games that are similar to Pokemon. As for what other games I end up playing this month, I'm pretty sure I played a bit more Tales of Azalea earlier on this month. I don't remember, but I think I did. I'm pretty sore. Although we have up to episode 59 recorded and up to episode 57 uploaded, waiting to get posted. We're really itching, to itching towards that dreaded number 62. I don't want three Let's Plays to end at the exact same number. And yet that might actually happen. There are still a few things I'm aware of we can do in the game. It's just a matter of finding it. So hopefully I can find some other things to do. I'm definitely gonna try and drag out Tales of Azaria to be at least 64 or 65 episodes. I feel like at that point we probably will have done everything. Counting the final boss in Dungeon. As for the most recent thing we've done in the game would be Terror Island. So we did do that. That was a pretty interesting time, if anything. Also end up starting up a Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory playthrough. I'm definitely enjoying that so far. Oh yeah, that actually brings me to something I almost forgot to talk about. I've got a bit of a surprise or two for you all for that playthrough. Because I thought Tales of Azalea would be more I mean, challenge slash would be just as much of a challenge as I found Tales of Exilia to be. I ended up playing that game on normal. And we didn't really game over too much. So for Digimon. We are playing the game on hard. And we also have a game over counter for the playthrough. I am counting game overs that happen off screen while I'm level grinding. There's no reason for me to lie about how many times I gamed over off screen. So you'll just have to take my word for it. 
I feel like that should still count because it's still technically... It's still technically a part of the playthrough. Regardless if it's on screen or off screen, a game over is still a game over in a playthrough. <laughs> so that's how I'm kind of seeing things. So yeah, we have a game over counter, which we do have a couple of game overs already within the first eight episodes. And we'll play on hard mode. And I'm already regretting that decision. <laughs> I found the first Digimon Story Cybersleuth game to be pretty damn challenging on normal. Especially in game side quests. So it should be interesting to see how hard things get on hard. For this one story side with the sleuth hacker's memory. And I still can't talk it all today. I'm not really sure if there are any other games I'm not playing this month. I know one thing, I'm definitely not going to be sopping anymore. For a hell of a long time. Like seriously, I don't need to at this point. <laughs> I am still trying to track down a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, I am trying to get a Switch at this point. It's looking like I might have to get one online because I can't find one anywhere in person, so... That should be interesting. Overall, I definitely don't need any more games for the PS3 or 4. Both of them are pretty much full to the rim at this point. Memory space is almost nothing at this point. So if I want to add more games, I'm going to have to uninstall some stuff. But I ain't doing that till I play through some, so that could be a while. Oh, this month was interesting, if anything. It kind of flew by in a small way. Then again, at this point, I'm just waiting for this year to be over. <laughs> Probably like everyone else. I just have different reasons for why. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much everything I want to go over. So let's play is all moving to the main channel. Whether you like it or not. I still feel like it's probably gonna be a bad idea. Because I've been burnt one too many times from trying to put everything onto one channel. Hopefully that mistake doesn't repeat itself. Either way, I guess that's it, so... I hope you enjoy the future videos to come. I am definitely enjoying the design playthrough already. Only real problem with it so far I'm finding would be my voice gives out on me. So I can't play it for as long as I want to. It sucks, but it is what it is. I know I'm done ranting at this point, so. Till next time, stay golden.